Uh, this is of. <coughs> I'm a bridge builder. I'm between working with Jungian psychology and organizational consultancy, uh, and always thinking about how we could not separate this on separate stages, but put this as different viewpoints on the same whole acting in organizations, in professions, in society. So perspectives more than different stages, different fields of our world. And this is why rooting back in Ericksonian work, in Jungian work, in Fanita English's work, Bill Holloway conducted the first guided imagery in my life in 1976. I heard he is still around in Brazil, being at age of 80 or more. <laughs> I would like to see him again, because <laughs> at the same time he's a brilliant theorist, has been, a, I don't know whether he's still, still in that. Yes, he is. Yeah. yeah, and I always admired him as a young student studying TA. Also, not many others were interested in this kind of theory, but I was. And so I was happy to hear that he's still around and he's in Brazil, maybe in this life I have the opportunity to meet him again. So, um, there is a part of narrative TA, this is storytelling, working with dreams, uh, in, in a professional, fra even in a professional framework, <coughs> non-clinical, non-social professional framework, working with guide, uh, guided imagery, uh, working with inner meaning building images people have believing that there is a background it's not only the background of uh, biographical history it's a background of images i've gathered together to understand where i'm going to and rosemary gave me uh, the book of richard erskine as an editor on scripts and you one where you you wrote a wonderful article about transference to contexts so it's relational in a modern way, not only to people, but to cultures, to milieus, to organizations. And there's always also Fanita English work, uh, comprimed. And I'm very much in the tradition of Fanita's work. And I, I'm a personal friend of her. I love her. So, and <coughs> I wanted to pick up now one of the methods we have developed in in, in, a, in our own way as this is working with inner images on understanding my relationship to professional work world and to professional life development and uh, i've developed um, a structure for interviewing on that these are things that are on my website uh, it's it's all written, much of it in German, but there's all uh, already some of it in English on on my website, on that. And this uh, focus could be pursued by exercises, and I personally like to introduce not a sheet of paper and exercise and instructional exercises, but on doing it by guided imagery, and then sharing. And this is what I will do now because it's not only the topic, it's also a culture building procedure to work this way. And this is why I do it in the beginning of our meeting here. And can, can, can I go, go on with that? Is that okay with you? So, and I always explain you some style elements I've developed for myself. <coughs> When I was younger, with um, systemic interventions into families or with hyp uh, hypnotic interventions, we always thought that's a kind of a secret work and you should do it very uh, strategically well done. I've skipped all that. I changed into a, a equal eye level cooperation with everybody and I found out if you do not try to make a magic out of you and work with secrets, but just tell the other person what you want to do. 
the, per- the soul of the other person and the uh, competence of self-regulation tunes into that and helps to make a good thing out of it. That's why I explain you now the structure of the, of the focus steps during the guided imagery uh, for your more awake attention and later on I will introduce into that same structure during uh, the guided imagery. And I will invite after uh, an induction you into uh, eliciting inner images uh, of your professional life, your actual professional life, and just pick up a screenshot of one situation. Not a, not a mystification or not a story, but just a screenshot. If you have to choose one, what is it? And so we will, each of you can put up a gallery with several green shots related to several sources of images. And this would be, for example, the first screen shot. And then I ask you, what have, what would you have, what, what did you want to become once when you're young, professionally? So we look for images, people connect with professional life situations from different sources. The idea is that uh, the structure of these screenshot shots tells you something about important ingredients for you f- for situations of professional life. So well, I-, I will ask you, picking up one image, what did you want to become when you have been young? In, in, in a formal interview, we can look for two or three pictures of that, but right now we just restrict ourselves to one. Then we go to a next source of images like this. If you scan all your family you come from, and there's one person, person related to profession, you should certainly could do that to any other connection like sexuality or growing old or whatever. We do it on profession. One person, uh, related to profession, who is that? And then I invite you in uh, the idea, uh, let's pretend there is a biographical movie made of the life, of this professional life, the whole life span. And there is a, a special cinema, and there is one screenshot out of that film, outside there. What is on that screenshot? And then we put this as a second screenshot into our gallery. And the third is um, getting contact with people out of your milieu or one of the milieus you are coming from, not family, bigger milieu. Many of, very often, these are priests or teachers or grocers and corn or who else. And what is the image of this person? Uh, and let's imagine there was. Biographical movie done on the professional life of this person, and it's presented in that cinema. And there's one screenshot. What is on that screenshot? And and then I will ask you, not so directly focused on professions, but more on literature, like Fanita just said with, with her story method, uh, being directed to professions uh, what what's coming up to you from literature. Literature means movie, newspaper, song, everything cultural. And all and again a movie is made of it, one screenshot, what is on that screenshot. And the last source uh, is dreams. Your own dreams that you can, con- daydreams or night dreams or whatever, that you can connect to professional life. And so, maybe at the end you have three, four, five, six, seven images on your gallery. And then in, uh, we go out of the guided imagery and you just share these uh, impressions you have with someone else. And this other person just 
feels relaxed and is uh, attentive to the images that and reactions that come up within him or her are onto you are dealing with the images and just tells you so it's an and co co-creative, co-associative kind of work with images in the, on the, in the backstages of professional life. Is this, is this clear? <coughs> okay. You, li you like to do that as a guided imagery? <laughs>